Hey, what's up, guys? I'm the reason I'm back. Yes, I'm back. Today, we will talk about um, resistors connecting in series and in parallel, which is also the part of the revision. Let's do it. So from the previous revision, we know that we have a battery. We have a resistor. But what if we have more resistors? There has to be some connection between them, like the way you connect them. Okay, there is parallel and series, and then you can mix them together. Let's talk about purely parallel and purely series resistor region, shall we? So we have two resistors connecting like this. In this format, where the current can flow just in one loop, this is called series. And to calculate the total the current flowing through this circuit um, what we can do is we can find the um, total resistance or the equivalent resistance of these two resistors let's just set these two both of them to 20 ohms so it can become this um, circuit look at this it can become this circuit so you've got because the formula you're using is that R total this only works in series, okay? This only works in series. So R1 plus R2 plus blah 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 whatever they are plus Rn. Say they are N they are they are N resistor connecting in series. That's a formula to calculate the total or equivalent resistance. So we can do 20 plus 20 equals to 40 ohms. So this equivalent resistance is 40 ohms. And then let's say this is 10 volts, 10 volts. And with ohms law, we just talked about like half a year ago. Um, to calculate the current, you draw this little circle, UIR. And letting you find current, so copper R, I, and you're left with U over R. So you go 10 volts over 40 ohms equals to a quarter amp. So I in this case equal to a quarter of an amp, which is 0.5 amp. Sneaky? Yeah, I think it's sneaky. By the way, that's series. But think about this. What if I add another resistor there? Say it's 15 volts. Uh, 15 ohm! Oh my god, what am I doing? Fukushima. 15 ohm. And then if you're finding the total resistance of this, apply formula. And then in this case, there will be a T3 and R3, because there are three resistors connecting in series so the equivalent circuit becomes this what's the resistance that's calculated 20 plus 20 plus 15 20 plus 20 plus 15 equals to 40 plus 15 equals to 55 ohms and then so this is 45 ohm and then if we're calculating the current running through it i it's actually going to be 10, which is the voltage, over the resistance, 55, which becomes 2 over 11. And by checking it, you time the um, current with the resistance and see if you get the voltage or not. And in this case, 11 times 50, 55, 55 over 11 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, so it is correct. And we did it correct, which is very smart. But guys, think about this question. What if I flip this, flip this arrow? So I set the um, current direction 
from the conventional cur conventional current to electron current, but we're actually thinking about conventional current. What is it going to be about? Easy, bruh. If it doesn't follow the reality, then just add a negative in front of it. Simple as that. So if we talk about these, then I should equal to negative 11 over 2 over 11 because it's, the direction is reversed. It's against the actual direction, which means we're going to just um, put a negative in front of it. In physics, more, more, for most of the time, negative means direction, not the value. Okay, you can remember this. This is very important, especially in electricity. Negative mostly means direction, opposite direction. Now, let's move to parallel. Actually, before moving to parallel, we're going to make some summary about series. What you will notice is that in a series circuit, because there's only one um, current flowing through it, so it, so we can make this statement in series circuit um, current stays constant what changes is the voltage of each component which in this case is just resistors but later on you will talk about diode which I already talked about Transistors, MOSFET, capacitor, inductor, this, uh, this all of stupid stuff. That means, make sure I copy this down, okay? So, before you're taking this lesson, you already know what it is, which makes you smart. And then, let's calculate the potential difference of each um, resistance, shall we? Let's do this. So, 12 volts. And then that's 10 ohms, that's 2 ohms. What's it's, what's the I going to be? What's the current? So we got these two adds up to 12, 10 plus 2 equals to 12 ohm. Make sure I copy this down, okay? 12 ohms, and then 12 volts over 12 ohms voltage over resistance gives you the current, which is on 1 amp. So I equals to 1 amp which means that the potential difference, which is the, also the voltage, is basically the same thing. This resistor, we call this R1, we call this R2. So the potential difference or the voltage of R1 equals to the, its um, current running through times its resistance according to Ohm's law, because U equal to IR. And then you don't know U, you know I and R, you time them together to find U, pretty smart. So we've got 10 times 1 is equals to 10 volts, which means that the potential difference between these two points are 10 volts. Yeah, this is 12 volts, this is 2 volts, and then between these two, it's 2 ohms times 1 amp, which is 12, um, which is 2 volts down my end. And what you'll notice is that the voltage drop or potential difference or the voltage of these two resistors which is 10 plus 2 adds up to 12 volts this is the same as the um, battery um, voltage this is actually about case KVL which can be described as sigma um, What's that? Uh, sigma pol support supplying voltage equals to sigma 
um, consumed voltage. This is just easy to understand. This is the case VL equation we're going to talk about later. Just have a brief introduction there. This is easier for memorization, and uh, uh, but we are actually dealing with all the voltage adding up equal to zero. Yeah, that's a better way. But just ignore what I said. Just a brief introduction, okay? Now let's move to series. And then a parallel, parallel. I mean, make sure properly is done. Parallel. I don't know how to spell correct now, but I can never spell parallel. It's such a weird spelling. Shiba. If there's more than one possible loop, that means it is actually connected in parallel, not series. Let's call this R1, R2. And then R1 equals to 10 ohms, R2 equals to 10 ohms as well. And then the voltage of the battery, which will be 5 volts. I set it to 5 volts because I'm sneaky. When you deal with TDL circuits, which we will talk about it later, the voltage is like always be 5 volts. Remember this. But CMOS, you can change it. But I just prefer having 5 volts all the time because why would you search it up? The whether each IC is TTR or CMOS. This is such a stupid thing to do. But ignore what I said. Drink some water. Exactly. And then let's calculate the total resistance or the equivalent resistance of these two, shall we? And then what the formula we're using is R total reciprocal equals to um, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus uh, 1 over R um, plus blah 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 plus 1 over Rn yeah and then let's do some practice so in this case they're both 10 ohms so R total equals to 1 uh, reciprocal equals to uh, 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 which means R total reciprocal equals to 1 fifth uh, which means that R total equals to 5 5 ohms remember the unit you know that means this circuit can be turned into this You see it, and we can calculate the current running through it. And now we've got the 5 minus 5 divided by 5, I mean, equals to 1 amp. So I equals to 1 amp. Make sure I remember the unit all the time. But, guys, think about this this current I running onto this node is actually split into two branches that means um it's um current is shared isn't it it's going to be shared yeah or how do we calculate its current oh we can use a sneaky way to calculate the current bro so what you're going to remember in the parallel circuit is that in parallel circuits again this only works in parallel circuit it's a reverse of um series circuit okay they're pretty much always in reverse in parallel circuit um the voltage stays constant Remember in series, the current stays constant, but in parallel, the voltage stays constant. The uh, current um, of 
each branch changes. In this case, the branch, I mean always, it's just these. Yeah. And then that means the potential difference of each parallel um, resistors are the same, parallel components are the same. That means this is always 5 volts, this point is always 0 volts. That means the potential difference of every resistor is always 5 volts. That means the current running through this resistor is always 5 divided by pin equals to um, half amp. So the current of this branch is always this, which is the voltage of it over its resistance of it. And then this one, it's identical because its voltage is also 5 volts divided by its voltage resistance, which is also 10 ohms, which gives you half amp. And what you will notice is that the half plus part half equals to 1. And that actually just equals to the volt, the current that before splitting to half, before splitting to two branches. This is actually the KCL, not KVL, KCL. Okay, I'm gonna write this down here. Which states that sigma, which is all of it, which means all of it. Sigma input equals to sigma output. Did you see that? The, the, consider this point as a node. This term is going into this node, which means it's an input. So input is one, and then output, you see this is going out of this node, so it's output, which Sigma means finding its sum, so it equals to 0.5 plus 0.5, 1 equals to 1. Every circuit has to make this equation true. This this is KCL, Q of current law, and the one before KVL is Q of voltage law. They are both very important. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening.